Just a few days back, the results of the law faculty and the faculty of education that is called the CIE over here. And uh, this department uh, would be facing, I mean, finally the appointments to this department took place after many, many years. And there are amongst uh, 81, I think there were 81 teachers who were teaching in law faculty, the last count, of which only around 37 to our count has got permanent. And there are around 40 odd teachers, many of them who have been teaching for over 10 years, few around 15 years, 16 years. And of those 15, 16 years experience, many of them have not been, uh, you know, uh, their appointments uh, have not taken place. Therefore, we, it was all our demand for a long time now that they be uh, absorbed in the system and regularized. Because all over the country, as you're well aware, the speed of appointment has been pretty slow. In this Delhi University itself, uh, over 4,000 teachers are ad hoc at the moment. Uh, positions which has come in 2008 are yet to be uh, filled up. And uh, if the situation is going from bad to worse. And for a generation of ad hoc teachers who have been teaching, it has not been their fault. Uh, they have the highest qualification around teaching for a long time and without any complaints at all. So it is, uh, I, I would say, very just enough that they get regularized in the places where they are teaching. Uh, and in uh, law faculty especially, there have been many positions, uh, 126 positions of which 80 odd positions uh, have been filled up. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, 126 positions were filled up, but there were only 80 teachers who were teaching there. So easily they could have been accommodated, but unfortunately they have not been accommodated. We have now a system in the country through the last regulations where we call the 50-30-20. For you it might mean what is this 50-30-20. Uh, to tell you uh, brief, 50-30-20 should be a procedure which was supposed to bring in transparency that you have a component of teaching and uh, domain knowledge and research, then you have a position on teaching skills and domain knowledge followed by your interviews. And if this procedure has to take place, they should be made transparent and public. Uh, and especially after the law faculty results, uh, it has come to our notice that uh, it is shocking for us that many people who had so many years of experience uh, they did not make the cut. So we would definitely want that the criteria be made public on 50, 30, 20. And we should also know that how the law faculty tabulation was made. Mm. And uh, definitely we would want the 40 odd teachers who have been, I would say, have not been taken in as permanent, be, I would say, adjusted, accommodated, uh, you know, as soon as possible in the law faculty itself. For a long, long time we have been agitating, okay, that uh, please start the appointments, please do regularization or absorption of long-serving teachers, but uh, uh, the university has not been the pace at which the interviews should have taken place have not started. Uh, in the university departments, out of 300 odd positions, good that in one single department itself, you you know, we had 126 positions though. So uh, maybe the pace looks immense, but there are at this moment over 2,000 positions advertised by this, uh, by the Delhi University colleges, and of which only one department in which two appointments have recently taken place last month itself. So the speed at which the appointments must take place has also been very, very slow. You may be aware when the minister, the MHRD minister came and the president of India came for the convocation last, they themselves promised, or I would say in some sense cajoled the university administration to, uh, uh, you know, hasten up the speed of appointment. But the speed as far as the Delhi University colleges are concerned, not taking place. For us, the screening has been taking, you know, from the month of May itself. Many departments in the colleges have, start, you know, the, the complete procedure of screening has also not taken place. So we are, uh, you know, in a situation where, um, in one sense, the uh, 
the minister is saying do the appointment, the other sense the threat of contractualization is also taking place. We are afraid that if this rain, you know, uh, I would say this series of appointments do not take place at the earliest, maybe uh, this would be the last section of permanent teachers in this university system. Because that's a kind of threat of contractualization that's over us at this moment. After a very long time, Duta has given a call. Um, in last seven, eight years, uh, this is our third call for a strike. And we have given a call for strike because on 6th, we are going uh, for a strike to demand that the long-serving ad hoc teachers and temporary teachers should be regularized. Uh, thousands of teachers have worked in the university and they were not given an option of, uh, or opportunity to become permanent. Now that the permanent appointments are happening and which Duta is celebrating because this is something which will give uh, new life to the university. Uh, we want uh, the long-serving ad hoc and permanent te uh, temporary teachers to be regularized. Also, uh, now as per the UGC regulation, uh, the selection committee should make a chart, give a lot marks to the uh, candidates uh, on the ratio of 50, 30, 20 on various criteria. We want that the minutes of the selection committee should be placed before the executive council. Now that the university is going to fill over 3,000 positions, we cannot go wrong. And the method of uh, appointment has to be made as transparent as possible.